Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff. Another Just Fun Tour. And welcome to the island of Woodboro. Now, Woodboro is like an adventurer's paradise. It is for the hiking enthusiast, the canoe connoisseur. It is everything natural and I'm excited to get into it from the description I got all the beaches are decorated all the houses are decorated there is a camping area with tents all decorated so I'm really excited to get into this island to see what they have done so let's not hesitate let's check out our map as you can see there are some amazing waterways in this island you have what looks like a really big lake in towards the back there is that beautiful designed uh swirly lake we'll just call it a spiral lake over to the right it looks like a butterfly down in the corner definitely some terraforming because i do see some ramps there as well as some bridges let's check out our villagers we have blair henry eric grizzly there's camo frog coco maple sasha billy and spork and of course the dream address is located down at the bottom of the screen so if you want to hop on and tour alongside with me that's amazing you can save it for another time it'll also be in the description along with all of the creators information you should go ahead and check them out this is an amazing island i can't wait to get into it so let's not wait let's head in to woodboro and right away natural this is so natural and I love it. I love the path that they're using with the little logs surrounding the hiking path. I'm going to call it a hiking path. But there are also a ton of gifts right here. So I'm going to go ahead, pick them all up and open them and then we will see what has been left for us. Okay, so the gifts that have been left for us are an explorer's hat. There's some trekking shoes, some bobby socks, explorer shorts, explorer shirt. There's a pocketbook as well as a ladder and a vaulting pole. So again, this is this is for the adventurer. You need to use some tools to get through this island and I'm super excited about it. Let's go ahead and switch into the outfit that they have provided for us because I love that. Oh, it's the same shoes that we're wearing. I love that. Some bobby socks. We've got the explorer shorts. And we already have our backpack on, so that's amazing. And we're going to bring our pocketbook in our hands so that we can document our entire journey. Maybe check out what species are on the island. I don't know. I'm excited. We are all dressed. We are set. Let's head out. Right off the bat, you have Nook's Cranny. And I love that they kept it in its original small form. Um, I feel like if they had made it bigger, it would have been more of like a city feel. And this is definitely for the adventurer. So I love that they left it small. The sacrifices people make for the beauty of their island. I love that. And again, the beaches are all decorated. And we have the first villager house right on the beach. And it's showing as a bike rental. So I'm wondering if the inside is like a, a shop. I don't know. Let's check it out. It is a little bike shop. Look at that window custom in the back. How cute is that? You can see like the mountainous ranges. The clouds are moving by. I love the shape of the window in that custom. You've got all your bikes over here on the wall that you can rent. There's helmets. You've got your little cash register. Your little work table. Look at the artwork that's on the walls. The little keys. The bulletin board. That's just adorable. I love themed houses and that is too cute. What an amazing start to this island. Oh, and we're greeted by Eric outside. And Eric, I have been searching for Eric since I started playing this game and I still don't have him. All right, we're heading into the island. Here is one of the island owners. Raquel says, take a hike. I don't know if that's a negative or a positive. Get out of here or actually take a hike. And I'm thinking it's taking a hike. Um, I love, again, look at how 
natural and beautiful this is. The colors with the greens and the whites and the browns are so beautiful. You even got a snake hiding behind the bushes by the water. I love little customs like that. Then you've got this little cave area and looks like, is that a bridge up there? Like a natural bridge? I guess we'll discover that, but I love this. Natural islands are just so beautiful. I wonder if we can get a view from up here. Can I get up here? There is a vine, but I don't think I can get up it. Let's see if we can use our ladder. Can I use the ladder and get up here? That would be amazing. The game says, absolutely not. No, you can not. Oh, yes, we can. We can get up top here. And then we can kind of get a view. Look at that island. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at the views. Oh, that is too much. That is stunning. Let's go into picture mode because I feel like... Yes, then we can lift up the camera a bit. And look at how gorgeous that is. I am a sucker for a natural island. So this is like everything. This is beautiful. All right, heading back down. Kind of sticking to the path. Seeing where it takes us. Back onto the beach. Fishing. So is this like where you buy your bait and tackle? I'm kind of hoping because I'm... I'm loving themed houses. This is Grizzly's house and they've got that same window design in the back which I am absolutely adoring. It's in a darker color which is so in theme with this house and it doesn't look like it's any sort of shop but it's almost got a cabin feel to it, and there is a fish in the back, but I love the stone walls. Oh, it's got a camping picture on the, like, poster on the wall. That's so cute. You've got the pillars and the walls creating that window look in the back. This is so pretty. We have... Another villager owner here. We have Elise. Ooh, look at that. I feel I feel that statement because this is so gorgeous. Look at these beaches. They're so absolutely beautiful. Then you come. This is where the dock is. And look at how simple the dock is. It's got reeds growing on it. You've got the little bench and light set up. Just so pretty. Heading into the island more. Little areas to sit. But look at how well decorated the beaches are. They're so pretty. I don't know if there's a way to head back into the island this way. Again, this is... This island is for hiking. And we are definitely doing some of that. Let's go up a level. Look at this gorgeous natural land bridge and we have another one right here this is the one we saw from down below and i i was thinking it was a land bridge look at how beautiful that look at the view oh i wonder if i can get that that's the spiral lake so let's see if we can get a better view oh look at how pretty that is oh that's amazing i the Respect I have for people that can terraform and waterscape like this is just crazy. But that is gorgeous. What a beautiful, beautiful view. We're going to head across the bridge because I want to check out what's in the back. We're going to work our way around the island, I guess. That spiral lake. Yes, please. Oh, goodness. Can we get up top here? There's all these little areas to kind of like get up and get better vantage points. Look at, look at the nature. We need our pocketbook. I don't want to get lost. Oh, look, there's the campsite. 
we get down there? Oh, we can! Along the path. Going down. So we are in the back corner now because this is all the tent. And according to the description, every tent is decorated. So let's check it out. Okay, so whoever's staying in this tent, they're looking for specimens. They've got the skull up there. They've got their camera. They've tracked leaves into their tent. That seems uncomfortable. They've got the camping cot. I love that it's decorated. They've even got the bug cage, so you can change and or keep your specimens. Super cute. Back out. Oh, this is where the secret beach is as well. Look at the little puddle customs underneath the little log beds. They're like lounge chairs, log lounge chairs. But that is so pretty right on the water. And then we're back in. There's the actual campsite. But there's two more tents. So that's where we're heading. I want to check out the tents. Oh, look at this one. You got, it's like dry storage food is what I'm going to call that. If you've ever been like hardcore camping and you've got those bags that you roll up with the Velcro and you tuck them tight so like bears can't get in them. That's what that yellow color and design reminds me of. They've also tracked leaves in. They've got their fishing equipment. They've got all their books set up. That's, I just love that they've decorated the tents. That's so cute. Again, take a brief moment to appreciate the work that's gone into these beaches. Oh, look at the little picnic area. And even the view on the beaches is beautiful. I love the gyroids kind of tucked in everywhere. We do have one more tent, so let's go check out this tent. We've got a fish in here. They've got their bike. They must have stopped at the bike rental. Picked up a bike so that they could cruise around, but I love the tents. They're simple. They're adorable. This guy's got like paperwork and stuff all down at the bottom, but it looks like, I mean, this is a cozy tent. All right, we are back in the island. We've got our ladder. Let's head up again. And appreciate the views. Gorgeous. Moving along. Look at the detail in this path, though. With the little wood pillars lining the entire thing. You've got little stones and pebbles, grass throughout. That's just... I'm just in awe. It's so beautiful. You've got a little couch outdoor area. The coffee's sitting there in a newspaper. We have more villager houses here. It doesn't look like they're home. Oh, this villager's home. Let's see what they've done with their house. Camo frog. And how cute is this? That same window pattern, which I am adoring. And I love how the wallpaper behind each one gives that outdoor feel, but it's different in each one. But this is so cute. It's got the greens, the vine lamps. He's got his food cooking, his little kitchen area, his bed. And I love that the couch matches the bedspread. Uh, that's like my favorite thing when I'm doing rooms. I like to carry through a pattern that I pick like a custom pattern through the whole thing. And that's too cute. This is like super, super cozy, well decorated. He's got his little parka hanging out. I love the custom artwork that they've put in each house as well. It's so natural and fitting with the island. I love a good decorated house. This is so cute. Back outside and checking out the views. I don't know which direction to go into. Can I go this way? Can we hop down? not going to let me hop down, so I think I have to go around. Oh, look at how cute. Now we're up where there's a volcano behind us. Can I get down here? I can. <laughs> so you really do have to, like, hike and climb and go through it, and that's so much fun. Another villager house. Oh, look at 
that custom for the kayaks on the ground. And the view in behind this cabin. Could you imagine living here? Like, how peaceful would this be? But look at the kayaks. That's so cool. You've got the paddles down on the ground. The kayaks out in front of you. This amazing wood log path. Then you have to follow through more and more stunning, stunning views with these waterfalls. And look at the plants all throughout. Like they're, they're tight and together, but you still have space and you can see through. It's just beautiful. I'm wondering. Oh, look at this view. We're like in the very back, if you can see the map in the corner, on this little floating island. We are in the big lake. I wonder if I can get through all this. There's a lot going on right here. <laughs> oh, you can. You can follow it around. But let's pan up. Oh, my goodness. The view with the mountain in the back. So absolutely stinking beautiful. Heading through, we've got more villager houses. And look at these yards. Oh, you can, can you get up? You can! You can get right up into where the mountainous range is and check it out. Need our pocketbook again so that we can get more of these gorgeous views. But look at how... Oh, I can't with how pretty this is. The detail everywhere. If you can see in behind, there's puddles underneath some of the trees. There's barrels tucked in the way back. All the trees down to the bottom. Mushrooms down on the rocks. Like, no detail has been spared. Oh, we just walked over a snake. Another villager house. Oh, this is the park ranger station. So you've got the multiple houses. That's why there's the little area to sit. I love the signage. Oh, and there's a villager home. So, oh, Sasha in the back. Let's see if this is done up like a park ranger station. This is cute and simple. It looks almost like a cabin that you would come and stay in. You've got the little bed to the side. You've got a little seating area. I love the light wood tones. The way they do the windows, too, are just so beautiful. This window design is different from the other one. But like I said, we just came from all of those mountains, and they're using the different walls in behind the actual wall additions and the pillars to create that look and you can see the mountain ranges in behind where this cabin is by the ranger station and i love that that is just beautiful coco's house is so cute leaving the park ranger station and appreciating these beaches, all of the little houses that are set out, like the little cabin areas. I wonder if you can rent these while you're camping. You've got these beautiful little cabin builds on the water. Oh, they've used bookcases to create a solid roof underneath this one in the storefront. I love builds like this and layered builds. That's beautiful. And the beaches are just gorgeous. Oh, we can follow... I'm just trying to stick to the paths. We are on this giant lake. And we get, Oh, you can hop across! That's so cute. And again, beautifully decorated beaches. Oh, you have the supply stop. So this is a main house. Oh, I'm excited to go in and see what this is all about. Okay, the supply shop. I love this. Wipe your paws. Down at the bottom, it's got the little welcome sign. You can buy all your boots, your lanterns. There's bikes, fishing gear, nets. You've got the cash register in the back. The, the coffee, the little bug specimens. Oh, it's a butterfly over on the wall with the butterfly poster behind it. I love the attention to detail with that. That's too cute. Now, there are other rooms to check out, so let's go ahead in. This looks like 
the office space maybe this is where the, the the manager works look at the windows and the plaid in the back and again matching the couch i love that follow through of the colors and look at the plants on the wall the little gyroids cedar lake oh are is that where we're visiting we're visiting cedar lake but look at how cute this office is the curtains match everything i love this room this office is cozy i think cedar lake is the name of the big lake that we are currently around Oh, wow. If you're visiting and you need a little bathroom break, this is it. Look at the stalls for the toilets. You've got the urinal setup, but then you have the clothes stalls. You have all the sink basins in there, and then you have the plants. I love the tile work and the wood walls. And they've created a custom tile going halfway up the wall that matches the floor. That's so Pretty. I love the green hanging lights. Oh, and look at the window where you can see the cedar trees out in the back. This is amazing. I mean, it's a public restroom, but I'm kind of loving it. There's windows in the stalls too, so. Oh, and the mirror customs behind the sink basins. That's so good. This is amazing. Up top, it's like an area to stay and sleep. Oh my goodness. So if you're looking for a place to sleep overnight, you can come here. There's bunk beds. I'm wondering if it's inexpensive. But look at those windows and doors in the back. That is my newest obsession. I obsess a lot about a lot of things. But right now, it is interiors and these door window customs. They're so beautiful. And look at how much they add to a room like look at just the view from behind there with the windows and you can see the lush wilderness outside but the doors are beautiful i love this room and downstairs it's like a little cafe kitchen area you can come in get something to eat again with the window customs, you can see the wilderness outside. It definitely doesn't have a, a basement feel to it. This is so cute. You've got the log furniture set up, the plant life and the greenery that they use, and the custom pictures on the wall. I love that. Oh, there's a pizza on the table. This is so good. So if you need a warm meal on your hike, Somewhere to sleep, somewhere to get a warm meal, use the bathroom, uh, pick up any more supplies you need before you take your hike. This is the place to go. All right, the supply stop. Love it. Oh, look at up here. I wonder, is this another area I can get up to? Yes! I love areas that we can kind of access. Can I get, I can't like get into it but it looks like there's a seating area i love the wood deck you get a view of that gorgeous lake in behind us Let's see if we can get a better view gonna climb down here and back onto the path oh you <laughs> literally can go up the ramp and come to this beautiful area where you can sit and relax and take in the views this is for like the less Hikey of the people, the people that are less adventurous, it just come for nature and quiet and relax. It's almost like a natural, like, spa setting where you come and sit and relax. Beautiful. And then you've got this big house build in behind. I'm wondering if we can get around front and get a better view. But again, let's appreciate the beaches. And we finally found able sisters so if you need more clothing on your hike this is the place to go built right in and again look at the detail with the path work paths have always been like the hardest thing for me so 
I truly appreciate people that can do like the circular patterns, make it work, and then they've got the bush in the center. It's the little details for me, but look at how beautiful this is. And this big, big cabin area in the woods. We're right by resident services now. Head down. Oh, the museum is down here. And in the best way possible, it kept small because that's what works for this island. Had you had this big grand museum, it just wouldn't fit the tent is so perfect for the style of the island. Then you've got Maple walking around on the beach. And again, these beaches are stunning. Oh, look at this little area with all the specimens. They've got like the spider little, like, I don't even know what you'd call that information board. So you can tell, or your bug species. No, those are beetles. They're not spiders. Beetles, so you can tell what species you're looking at. And then you've got like the little bugs in baskets too cute oh the gift shop there's nobody home I wish there was and you could check out the gift shop from your little stay on this island adventure sorry maple I'm not trying to hit you we're gonna go up and around up through and past <laughs> resident services, which is like the visitor center. This is like the epicenter of Woodboro. Come to the visitor center at resident services. And this is where, oh, can I get up here? No, it's not gonna let me even though I have my ladder. This is like where we came in at the airport and we saw nooks. This is such an amazing island to explore and discover everything. The, oh, there's just more everywhere you go. Look at the caves and the waterways, the bridges. I feel like everywhere you turn, oh, this is where resident services is. There's something new to find more cabins, more houses. You can get right up in behind where it's built. The lakes are amazing. The views are stunning. The detail in the paths and their designs are fantastic. Oh, you can get right down to the spiral lake. We saw it from up top. There's more villager houses. But you can actually like get in and get a feel for the island. This is amazing. I can't get across there. I do have my vaulting pole. You can get right down into where this spiral lake is. That's so cool. We have more villager houses. Oh, that's, can I hop right in the center? Look at how gorgeous that is. This lake. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. What a view. I'm gonna hop my way back across. And we're gonna see who's home. Oh, is this like, oh, it's got a welcome sign on the back. This is Blair's house. Blair, you're kind of, I don't want to, okay, Blair's not letting us in. Good thing we can rotate and spin. This looks like a flower shop. There's all sorts of plants and wildlife. There's a register. I love, again, the windows. I love the window customs and the way people use the walls to create these looks. This is beautiful. That's so... Plant sale! <laughs> okay, so I wasn't wrong. Definitely a plant shop. Look at... Oh, I can't with how gorgeous this island is. And this is the lake. If I... The map will pop up in the corner. Yes, we're at the corner of the lake. Look at 
hell. Beautiful. And then we're back where the kayaking is. Back on the lake and around where the plant sale is. This island is absolutely 100% so worth visiting and checking out. There's so much to see, so many places to explore. If you feel like finding areas that are like almost like secret areas, trying to use your ladder, trying to use the vines, getting up, getting these views, so worth it. It is so beautifully done. Congratulations to the owner of this island. They have done a phenomenal job. The houses are amazing. The campsite is gorgeous. The terraforming is phenomenal. Their customs inside the houses, outside on the groundwork. It's just amazing to see what people can do. I'm going to go ahead though and my tour here. I want to thank you guys so much for coming on this adventure with me. I've had an absolutely amazing time. I hope you did as well. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for all the support that you show me. It means the absolute world to me. And as you know, I'm definitely going to be back with more Animal Crossing videos.